One of the best ways to warm up a house is through lighting. There are many varieties of arts and crafts lighting and they can work in many different styles of houses. So let's look at three topics when considering buying lighting for your arts and crafts home. The first is the shades, and when you think of shades, you think stained glass, which usually comes in jewel tones like emerald, ruby, and sapphire. But when it comes to stained glass designs, they can also be more muted shades, like ambers, pale browns, and golds. Another type uses droplets of glass interspersed with the cut pieces, like the eyes on a dragonfly lamp. A third type is mica shades, which cast an amber glow. And then there's luster glass, which is brushed with chemicals to create iridescence. Designs are also important, and patterns are usually based on natural themes like woodlands or sunsets or animals. Now how about materials for the base of the lamp? Bases come in a similar variety of styles, but usually there are only a few materials. Popular choices include wood, copper, and brass, but we're not talking shiny brass like you would find on a Colonial Revival door knocker. Oh no, the patina has to be dark on the metal and suggest years of use. And then there's overall style. You probably think of the classic desk or floor lamp, and those are standard, of course, but there's also table lamps, chandeliers, wall sconces, even arts and crafts porch lights to consider. As you can see, there's quite a variety to choose from. Now, lighting is a utilitarian purchase, but arts and crafts lighting is like jewelry for your house.